Okay, I think I know what I need to do. Um, I need to just kind of run backwards here now. I thought that there was supposed to be something here, but apparently, no, no. Oh, come on, I was so close to that one. So close, but they wouldn't let me do it. Oh, I need to be, there we go, right there. I think that is the ticket, right there. There we go, knock that one off. Now we need to go up here, and I think, no, we, we need to go a little bit further back. It's further than that. There it is. There it is. There's the other spot that we need to go to. And here is another box that we need to take care of. I mean, really easy to mess this up. Incredibly easy. It's just like, where do the boxes come out? Because if you don't know where they're gonna come out, that's going to be an issue. And of course, as soon as you land, you get into a fight. We are in this room though, marked number two. We can destroy the boxes here and the one that we dropped down. The one that we dropped down does have two skill upgrade E's in it. Now I wanna go to the lower left one here, marked F. And this is where the other one we destroyed is, where I can find a Rejuvenator DX. Now I also wanna go into, is there another one over here? Yeah, A. And behind here, you might be able to see that there is another door. Segment address number seven. But I can't decode it just yet. I'm getting ahead of myself, just hoping and praying. Now that we do have everything from this kind of crazy looking room, and we did finally figure out what this room leads to, this right room here. I need to fight this guy and then save again. All healed and saved. Unfortunately, I did not actually activate the elevator. I actually needed to say yes in order to get the ele elevator working again. I thought it was gonna come get me, so I have to go the long way this time. I will meet you at the top of the elevator. Make sure to activate it, though. It makes things so much easier. Elevator all activated this time. Let's head back into the room with the conveyor belts. This time, let's actually do things properly. Let's actually go where we kind of need to go. Uh, which would be this last one here, number four. Gotta be a little careful about it, but if you miss it, it's not too hard to find your way back here. Uh, I actually already came here, which is why the door is open, but we need to head down here where I have not been. I was in the wrong spot. I was like, wait, is it supposed to be three or four? But if we head down here, we can destroy a couple blocks and continue on our merry way. Hopefully we can get to that ship. Why is the pathing here so convoluted and involve conveyor belts and walkways? This is very confusing to me. Whoever designs this place is not so smart. Any of these places, really. But we do get skill upgrade C's as we continue our long trek up. We're so damn high. What is that? A couple hundred feet? And she just motored on through it like it was nothing. But we will continue on. And... Wait, hold on. Man, I am losing it today. I think I'm further ahead than I am. I'm like, oh, did I miss something? There was nothing to miss. Okay, we're moving on. And here we can find ourselves a thing to destroy. That doesn't allow us really to do anything, but it is now destroyed. Destroy it! It must be destroyed. Everything must be destroyed. Just like all the pots in any Zelda game. We need to destroy them. Except for this door, because this is like a real door. So we can go through here. Now here, we find another puzzle room. Uh, there are four blocks here. Is that an actual reset? This is an actual reset. Usually they don't do that. What we need to do is to destroy the left three ones here. And then we need to go onto this glass. 
and we need to head over here and now we need to head over to the southeast corner that's a lot further southeast than I thought and we can destroy that which sends a treasure chest all the way over. God, that is taking a long time. I will meet it at its destination. Don't ask how it works. It, it just works, okay? <laughs> but it immediately comes here. And there we can find decoder 15. I don't think we have door number 15, but it's worth a check just in case. Just in case. I can't can't like cycle through this as fast as I would like. We do know where that is. It is in the subconscious domain in winter. So we will have to go back there when I have a party. I'm not going back there with just Shion. That would be insane. Uh, but now we need to pretty much do the same thing here. Uh, we need to go to this side, tilt the glass, and then we can head back to the southeastern corner here. And this time we will actually go onto the catwalk before we make it to the corner. Make sense? I think it makes sense. It's kind of weird though that they would hide a treasure chest like that for you. But it's a decoder. It's one of the best things out there. And here we can find another save point, which I'm definitely going to be using so that I don't get lost again. I think we are ready to go. Now we need to head through the middle here as quickly as we can unfortunately we are going to have to fight enemies along the path here but we do get a cool look at the fan and you to a our new enemies we have a vss Rayleigh. i'm gonna go with relay uh i've been you know kind of farming these guys for points let's be honest that is pretty damn good for points here Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to kill these guys on the point that I want. Oh, great. That that did not work out well. So, I'll hit you again. And hopefully I can get the points working in my favor. I think so. I think so. We will stock, and then I will boost. As you can see, she's getting some MP back, or EP, sorry, whenever... I do stock. That should be enough. That's plenty. I'm gonna get his skill points times two though. Okay, I will stock. And then I should get my turn here so that we can just obliterate this guy. Unfortunately, that second attack is never good, so I always have to kind of count for it doing about half of the damage because it's not lightning elemental anymore. We do get quite a bit of skill points and I will take this opportunity to heal and probably spend some of those skill points. She's moving right along because of the fan as well. Let's just continue forward. I do have some good magics that I will go over later. Well, ethers. Once again, just it's encoded in my head that they're magic ethers. I don't know why I'm struggling in this game about it. I'll burn you to a crisp. Let's just continue on forward. We need to use what little assistance in getting through this thing the platform gives me. That is kind of what we're going for here. Do I need to be like right in the middle? I do need to be right in the middle. Okay, now we need to head up here and quickly. Am I going, am I not going to be able to make that? Like right in the middle, right along here. Was I not close enough? There we go. It wasn't close enough last time. We need to hit this panel here. Push the button. It's big and shiny. It can only mean good things. And that does stop the fan. So many computers are going to overheat now because of that, but it's all worthwhile in the end. Now, oh, that's right. I need to go on the other side in order to get up there. I can see the ladder. Just can't get to it from that side. You would think that it would be built symmetrically, but you would be wrong. Does this do anything? No, of course not. But we will head up here. And we will head onto the elevator. Which we will go up on. Kind of expected it to go down, but 
fine. We will rise above the giant fan. Until we make it to pretty much another generic floor. I was kind of hoping for something better. But we do get a cut scene as well for making it to this generic floor with all these computers that we're going to overheat. Warning. This area is currently off limits to unauthorized personnel. Please leave immediately. Well, security got us yet again. Security is gone, and it doesn't look like I can do anything with any of these panels. Even though they're bright and shiny and I want to, we will head out through the north. Through this giant door? No, through this small little door in the corner. Don't, don't get your hopes up. We are not quite that large just yet. Maybe we'll figure out a way to get that large later, but for now, we just have this. Wait. How's it looking? You look awesome. Well, the power's active. L looks like we can do this. I'll initiate the system. Please hurry and get inside. Okay. Alan's actually <gasps> doing something. Uh oh. Ah, but it looks like we're a little late. We're kind of surrounded. Yeah, I see them. Hang on tight, Chief. Wait, Alan. <laughs> Not bad. Alan, I'm impressed. Well, it's all part of being a man. Bitch. And the power of love. <laughs> she didn't hear that second line, just for the record. Hmm? Did you say something? No. Uh, nothing. Of course she didn't. I'm gonna floor it. Hang on I think we all knew that she wasn't gonna hear it. Hey, it's the CEO. We never gotta meet him. Unfortunately. I can't remember if we know his name or not. That happens way too often in games that I've played before. I'm pretty sure we have. Yeah, we totally know his name. Damn it, Wilhelm. Not that that's that big of a spoiler anyway. Who's that guy? We've detected Albedo's ascension. Ascension? I see. He did well. The lock has been opened and the obstacle removed. The rest is up to her. Will matters proceed smoothly? She is suited for the task. There will be no problems. People always try to live a life of choices between good and evil. They make pessimism their foundation and praise misfortune and sorrow. And then they try to seek a pure heart. Yet this is nothing more than their individual view, born out of comparison with others. Is she who thinks of others right? Is he who opened the door wrong? Only those who stand in a place beyond that point can comprehend the true essence and gain knowledge of absolute truth. Her awakening, Cosmos's awakening, will lead us to that summit, don't you agree? What awakening? The one she had or the one that she will have? In any case, the intermission is over and the players stand upon the stage. All that remains is to wait for the night to appear. And for that, it is necessary that someone play the role of the villain. Will he suffice for that role? Do you object? The greater the suffering, the more exciting the drama. I'm not sure I like the CEO of Vector. Sure, he thinks and talks pretty deeply, but... 1.41 parsecs to Milsha. No ship signatures he around. He seems very detached. We're halfway there. We're just headed straight for old Milsha because you had it in a dream? Oh, dear God. Yeah, 
I don't think we're equipped to handle this. I just hope that they can pilot it well. Well, what kind of maneuvers are those? That's well beyond the limits of the human body. I don't think that's true in space. We're hit! Shields are lost! I know! Yeah, it is. Honestly, I don't know. I'll have to think about that. Do you feel G-forces in space? You probably do. So yeah, they're probably right, and I'm wrong. What's going on? What? Hurry and confirm the situation. What's going on? The power. It's no good. It's, it's... Not responding to our command. Cosmos. She suddenly started. She up. tends to do that. Did they not brief you on Cosmos? But that's not possible. Her reactor isn't even installed. What? Wait, what? The is released. I, I know. Does she have a secondary reactor? She's gorgeous. Let's stare at her breasts, apparently, and her bikini zone. Wh what is that? She's glowing in her middle. Cosmos, where are you going? She goes where? Shion. What? She's going to Shion. Shion is calling me. Cosmos goes where Shion. she is needed. Chief Uziki is. I must go. She got me to. Chief! I thought you were a man. Quit whining and shoot what something. What the with this man crap? <gasps> we're gonna die. Is this the Yes! Unless... Uh. Shion, I am switching your craft to control mode B. Prepare for docking. What? Docking? And thus, Cosmos destroyed an entire fleet of ships. I think we're saved. Just a little bit. Huh. Oh, thank goodness. Enemy craft have withdrawn from sensor range. Yeah, I'd run too. Cosmos. Were there people on those ships? Did Thank you. I've always Chief. A transmission. I've always assumed they were unmanned, but a transmission. I guess that's just an assumption. Yo, Miss Vector. That was quite a show you put on out there. That voice. Hey, if you're alive, say 
paid something already. How's your debt? Captain! And we have found the Elsa again. It looks like it's been upgraded a bit. I do know that they repaired it, but it looks like things have changed for the better around here. Hey, you're back. I remember you. His name is Abdo or Abdu? I'm gonna go with Abdo. Ah, oh, we need periodic maintenance. Yes, you do. Now, if memory serves me correctly, yes. <laughs> God, they've, they've redesigned the ships camera angle so it's hard to say where things are at all times moscow mule okay danger ahead we are currently headed for old milsha but we do have access to a safe point and your main point here so that is going to do it for these parts of let's play xenosaga episode two i've been baller scoob i've been joined as always by my suddenly breaking the law squad of Shion. Not even Alan's with her right now. He's too busy admiring Cosmos, I believe. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laugh. Hope you learn. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.